So welcome to the Water Cube. Can you uh, tell me your, your name? My name is Sakua Motumi. I am from the Ministry of Environment, Wildlife and Tourism okay. in Botswana. Thank you. My name is Jeffrey Kwaraya. I'm from the Biokafango Project, which is a UNDP GF funded uh, government Botswana project. Okay. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about uh, what the ministry is doing uh, right now in the Okavango Basin. And uh, yeah, just what, what is it you're doing and, and how did it lead to this project that you're working on and presenting? Uh, my ministry is responsible for environmental management. And one of those the key areas in environmental management is management of the water resources. And we have the Okavango Delta, uh, which is in Botswana. But it's part okay. of the shared river basin. And within that uh, shared river basin, there are institutions in place to promote joint management. We have the Okabango uh, uh, Permanent uh, Water Commission in Brief Okako, which is a tripartite agreement between the governments of Botswana, Angola, and Namibia to promote joint management of the basin. And uh, as Botswana, we uh, developed uh, a management plan for, for the Botswana part of the basin, which is the Okabango Delta Management Plan. Mm. Uh, as a way of sort of demonstrating to the international community how we intend to manage our international uh, uh, wetland. So in, in that management plan there are a number of issues that we have identified which are very key to the survival of that, this wetland uh, ecosystem. Uh, particularly issues of access to, to the resources of the Okabaka Delta by the local communities mm -hmm. and the conflicts that come with those uh, that access uh, to, to resources and one of those resources is fisheries for example. Okay, and and uh, what 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 have you been presenting here in in Stockholm? And uh... here we've been uh, presenting uh, some very innovative ideas on how to try to address those issues at the very local level with the stakeholders in a very interactive process. Okay. And that process is facilitated by the Bakavamo project, which is a key partner uh, okay. in the management of the Bakavamo Delta. And. Uh... You, sir, are working on the, the project itself? Yes, sir. Can you maybe uh, tell us a little bit, uh, just very short, what yeah. the project is and then what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. thank you. Like, like my colleague said, uh, we're trying to bring down the, the, the planning into, into implementation. He mentioned the development of the Okavango Delta Management Plan. And it has come up, it has picked up several issues and the Okavango is a pilot, the Biogavango project is a pilot project. It's demonstrating, you know, three of those in terms of uh, fisheries, uh, water and, and tourism. Um, during the development of the ODMP, a few you know, issues were raised, you know, conflicts were raised and the Bagavango came in to want to resolve those issues. ODMP, so sorry? ODMP, Ogavango Delta Management Plan. Okay. Yeah. Yes, as in, uh, so that we can develop, we can um, 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 try to, to resolve some of these issues. And specifically here we came in as the, the Bagavango project to try to showcase to the international community how we've managed to develop, you know, to move from the international scale to a, to a more local scale in terms of uh, getting the stakeholders at community level, the top operators in the Delta, and the government within um, the district where the, the backup project has been implemented to participate in the, in the, in the solutions of, that have been identified at this stage. And your, your specific uh, research uh, is about we, environmental flows, you, you told me earlier? Um, we are more into, into development than research. Environmental flows comes in as a, as a concept that we are, we are implementing. At a very high level, we, we talk about it, but at this particular project level, we're actually developing the environmental flows for the Ogavango River Basin at a basin level. Initially, the project would want to focus in within the delta on the Botswana part of the side, but we realize that most of the water that we would like to develop the flow requirements for basically comes from the, the other two countries, which is Angola and, and, and Namibia. Okay. So we saw the need to you know, make it a transboundary project, and we're doing exactly that. So maybe you can then uh, touch very quickly on uh, the transboundary nature of this project and, and how it, you know, it's supporting what the ministry is doing, let's say, at that higher level as well. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the integrated basin flow assessment, we as the ministry, we see it as a tool that we, it can help us uh, to negotiate the development options for the, for the river basin. Because it comes up with a number of scenarios, development pathways that the three countries have to consider and decide which pathway they want. And the uh, integrated basin flow assessment uh, helps the three countries uh, 
to determine and agree on, uh, on this uh, development pathway. So it, it, it's indeed a uh, very helpful and useful tool uh, for, for, for us within the government. Okay, great. So is there anything else that um, either one of you wants, wants to add, maybe about what the World Water Week uh, has contributed uh, perhaps to this initiative. Have you come back with any new ideas? Yes, uh, for me at least it, it helped with the networking and also the seminar yesterday was very useful in that you know we presented what we've been doing and we got some ideas from other basins what they've been doing and the tools that uh, can also help improve what we have developed within the Okavango Basin. So I think moving forward will be very great for us. Thanks. Yeah, I also think uh, the, the, the World Water Week has been very useful in terms of uh, interacting with the other, you know, similar projects and similar institutions that do, you know, similar work. We yeah. get a lot of lessons to learn from, particularly from the seminar that we had yesterday, which, like I said before, we co you know, we gently organized with UNEP. There was a lot of interaction, there was a lot of discussion during the panel discussion, and we realized that a lot of us still talk at a very strategic and high level, and at least for the Gavango Delta, we're trying to bring these things down to implementation. Great. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very thank much you. for having us.